Hey, are you a GP who's wanting to take out their molars? Well, I'm going to give you a few tips in this surgical video so that you can take your skills at next level. All right, let's jump into it. started I'm Dr. Jared Williams I am a conscious dental surgeon but I'm your third molar expert after completing over 10,000 surgical procedures there's been a few tips and tricks that I've been able to learn over the years and I want to use this channel to shorten your learning curve so that you as a GP could do third molars in a easy fashion so if that's you click the subscribe button smash like but then what I want for you to do is take some notes so that you and your patients can smile after surgery. All right, let's jump into it. Are you a GP tired of referring patients out of your practice and losing out on production? Did you know third molar surgery is a $3 billion industry? If you are ready, join the five-day third molar surgery challenge, which will give you the confidence, knowledge, and skills to remove third molars safely. During this challenge, you'll enhance your surgical speed and gain exclusive access to insider secrets that specialists for years have tried to keep hidden. By learning these techniques, you'll be able to serve more patients, add more skills, and be the go-to doctor in your area. Don't miss this incredible opportunity to boost your skills, increase patient volume, and revolutionize your practice. Enroll now and let's embark on this exhilarating journey together. All right, so as you can see, this patient's already anesthetized and we're ready to rock and roll. Now, when I see a tooth like this, I'm not too quick to go ahead and put a burr on it or start cutting it, and I'm not quick to um, place a flap on it, just for the simple fact that majority of the amount of the tooth is already exposed. And so when I see that, I'm just like ready to rock and roll. And so I'll go ahead and grab my Minnesota. That's something that you always wanna have with you at all times. And I'm literally going to go ahead and start wanting to elevate this tooth and take it out. I'm not wanting to lay a flap or anything. I just want to get an idea of how much of a challenge am I going to have with the roots of these teeth. Because when you're taking out third molars, it's all about the roots, baby. It's always about the roots. So as you can see right now, we're going to go ahead and place our elevator back on this tooth. And this is a 77R. All I'm wanting to do is see if I can get some movement on it. And once I'm able to get some movement on it, I'm ready to rock and roll. So now that my bite block's in and I'm ready to rock and roll, I'm going to go ahead and test it again to see if I can get any movement. Now, I can get a little bit of movement on it. As you can see, it's already starting to move there. Uh, but I could force it out, but I don't because I don't want to break the lingual plate or damage the 12 year molar that is right here. Right? So now that I could see, I could get a little bit more movement. Let me see if I could move it a little bit more. I am a very patient doc. And as you can see, I already have some movement on it. Simply what I want to do is this. I want to make sure that I don't snap the jaw by putting too much force because you could actually do that on these cases just because of where the force is. But what I want for you to do is just, just go ahead and elevate it just amount. And once I get to this mo point to where I could basically elevate the tooth out, all I want the tooth is, to do is just come out easily. I'm not trying to force it. All I want to do is just let it come out easily. So now what I'm going to do is I'll get my surgical handpiece. And essentially what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go in the forcation, and I just want to separate this tooth in such a manner that it allows me to take a molar, cut it in two molars, and that's what we call a premolar. So right now I'm just going ahead with my surgical handpiece and just simply going in there and just making sure that I could break this down. You want to use a significant amount of water so that you want to make sure that you use a significant amount of water so that you don't cause any 
um, smells to the patient. So as you can see there, the tooth is already coming out. The reason why it's coming out so easily because I already started the process of elevating that tooth before I put the handpiece on it. And it's very little cutting that I have to do to the tissues, which means the patient is going to heal a lot faster. So here, with my 150 elevator, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the tooth, if possible, and just want to twist it out. Doesn't seem like I'm being able to get in there like I would like, just because of where the tooth is positioned. But we already know that the tooth is loose, so that's a good thing. And we know that we're not going to break the root off in there. So as you can tooth the as you can see, the tooth is still being stubborn, so I'm just going to go in there with my spade elevator, get into that furcation, into the pulp chamber, and I'm protecting that patient with that gauze, and I'm simply just going to elevate this tooth on out so I could grab my 150 forcep and just twist it on out, and they are the roots. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my elevator and let that tooth come on out of there. And so as you can see, guys, these are very straightforward cases that you should be doing in your practice. I don't know if you knew, but third molar surgery is a $3 billion industry. And so if you are thinking about wanting to do third molar surgery, this is a channel for you. And we definitely would like to work with you, give you an invitation to work with you so that you could, you know, get your hand held or just have the secret blueprint that we use. But Third molar surgery should just be that easy, especially when you're choosing the right patients. So we've irrigated, we have curated to see if there's any damage to the adjacent teeth, and that's it. And then we go to the other one. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do third molar surgery. Efficiently, confidently, and with a smile. All right, guys, I'm Dr. Jared Williams. Hopefully, you'll be doing third molar surgery tomorrow for your very next patient. All right, guys, make it a great one.